Hey everybody, J-Dub here with Global Gamers. Um, today I'm going to be doing another video. Uh, this one is actually just going to be a little bit of a gameplay video. Um, it's on a game that I've been playing that I picked up on the Steam holiday sale called Entropy. Uh, it is a space MMO. You, it's it's made by Artplant, the company that makes uh, Battlestar Galactica Online, or made Battlestar Galactica Online. Um, basically, what's what's different about this is that it's it's an MMO. It's an MMOG, is what they call it. Uh, science fiction sandbox kind of game. Um, the really cool thing is that it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, so it's uh, it's, it's cross-platform. Um, the really neat thing is that everybody plays on one giant server at this point. Um, so right now, um, in the top corner, I think it looks like I'm on the uh, the EU server for some reason. Um, so I'm on the 672 EU server, uh, which is kind of funny, but um, being here in the US, I guess. Um, but basically what the idea is is that um, the, the game, what, it, what it's mainly focusing on is space combat uh, they have a dynamic trade system and then exploration is kind of the three main things which seems to be the the main the main goal with all uh, space MMOs but um, this one is a little bit different uh, there's some different things but it, it's it's pretty neat the character creation so far is pretty cool um, I've already if you see here I've already created a character um, but I kind of wanted to just get you into the game a little bit show you uh, hopefully I can get into an encounter where I can do some 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 space combat uh, and you can kind of check that out but uh, the trade system is pretty cool uh, it is in early access right now so there's a lot of features that are being developed um, they're adding new things it's it's there's a lot of work to be done but so far it's looking really good the graphics are great um, to be honest with you they're actually pretty amazing so um, let's just jump right in so I've created my my character here um, his name is JDZ uh, which is pretty neat I'm um, level three I've done I've played for a little while here um, level three isn't very high so don't don't think I'm like a pro or anything um, I've just a couple quests and, and killed a little pi a couple pirates but um, so let's just jump in here and um, I'll show you what this game looks like so um, the latest patch they said that they decreased the loading times uh, so we'll see um, one of the things that I didn't like was that the game uh, loaded a lot you had a lot of loading screens um, so just a quick rundown of what you'll see here um, along the top you see this ticker going along and this is this is news from the from the galaxy so uh, revised, you know, revised production schedule reduces demand for reactor components at the uh, the era, the era station. So um, it's kind of neat because you can actually this is live. Um, these are things are are actually changing as supply and demand is needed in different areas of the map. Um, so that's kind of neat. Um, I'm actually docked in my station right now, so you can actually see my ship right here. Uh, you got the chat down here. Down on the bottom, you have the experience bar. Um, and then these are all the settings. I won't jump into this because, like I said, I just in this video specifically, I want to just show you the gameplay um, and kind of give you an idea of what this game looks like. So uh, we are going to undock from the station, and there's going to be a I think a little undocking cinematic that should pop up here. That all. I'm not going to I'm not going to skip any of the cinematics just so you can see them, but um, you can skip them by hitting spacebar. Um, so here I go, and I am undocking. So I'm a mining ship. Um, so here's my ship here, and we can, let's see. So I'm, uh, to, to speed up and slow down, I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse. Um, looking in all directions, I just move my mouse in those directions. Um, so, you know, 100% speed, 30%, I can go in reverse by going, you know, below the 100%, or below the zero threshold will put me into, uh, let's see, what's that over there? got an actual player here uh, which is kind of cool so here's this guy here um, so right now uh, is if you can see down at the bottom in my in my number one uh, action bar slot I have my uh, my weapons which is my laser gun um, so there's shoots of lasers so there's my lasers oh. and then anytime you shoot lasers it's kind of funny you get into you get put into combat mode so the combat music starts but I'm really not in combat um, so that's one thing that's kind of funny uh, so anyway, and, and right now uh, I can't teleport until uh, until this music goes away. So it'll take a minute for that to go away. Uh, so while that's going um, down the bottom right corner, you've got my uh, my four shields and my aft shields. Uh, forward and backward, you get the health of my ship in the center. Um, let's see here. Um, what else? I think that's I think that's pretty much. It, as far as that goes, I can it could swirl around by hitting Q and E, um, up and down, uh, left and right. We'll use uh, some of my thruster shields, so you'll see my energy is actually uh, decreasing. So you can use that for just increased maneuverability. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that there. 
um, hitting option uh, will actually zoom me out to a, to a, a mode where I can then use my mouse. Um, if I hit the little gear here, um, I can actually edit the loadout of my ship. So I've got my laser cannons, my mining beam. Um, I've got some mods on here, so auto repair, things like that. Um, so that's kind of neat there. Let's see. Um, if I click on the cargo hold, this is where this is actually showing what's in my ship, the things that I've mined, um, my capacity uh, of how much I can store. Um, but let's go, let's teleport out of here and get into the system. So I hit the teleport button, which was right up there, and I'm going to load into the the game map. So this is one difference uh, with the game is that you you actually float around these solar systems. So um, if you look right up here, this map, you're going to see a series of planets and the sun in the middle of the solar system and, and uh, these are these are bases, these are uh, like forts and things like that that you can go to, uh, stations. Um, this is an NPC carrier here, let's see what this guy is. They have to be able to identify ships, you have to be within range of them. Um, so he's a faction guard, he's a patrol, so nothing really, nothing really too big going on there. Um, so basically you zoom around these uh, these solar systems um, on this mini map here and you kind of you know there's physics so like I, you know if I try and turn slowly it, it doesn't turn and you kind of float a little bit which is kind of cool um, the way that you travel from system to system is through these teleporters here um, so you can jump in this teleporter and once you get close enough I'll show you it actually pops up and you can enter the the teleporter. Yeah, I can see I can hit enter there and I would be teleported to uh, a different system. So let's jump to the system map and find one that's got maybe some hostile people in it. So this is the the actual game map. So this is these are all the systems that are available for me to, to visit that are known. Um, they just increased or they just added an exploration system, uh, which I haven't really ex uh, gotten into yet, but we'll get into that in a different video. Um, so right now I'm in a green friendly zone. Um, there's yellow, there's red, and each one um, is 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 increasing in difficulty. So we're gonna go to the uh, to the fail system here. Um, so let's get back out of here, and we want to go. So watch this. You can actually plot a course. So I'm gonna plot a course by hitting the uh, create route, and I want to go here. And then when I exit out, now I have up in this left corner here. You'll see my. It's actually gonna direct me on how to get there. So we're gonna fly up there to that teleporter. And we're gonna take off, um, unless we run into some pirates on the way. So we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. So all of these yellow guys, nothing to worry about, unless you're a pirate. But um, I'm not a pirate, so there's nothing to worry about there. Um, I'm still independent. I haven't picked a faction yet. But there are there are factions to choose from. You can become a pirate. Um, the way that you do that is by uh, killing another player when they're encountering pirates. So uh, that you kind of have to break your way into the pirates. Uh, the pirates team or the pirates uh, group I guess I should say so here we go We're cruising along um, you move significantly slower on this map just because it's so zoomed out I guess the, the distances um, it's trying to be relative with the distances um, as far as that goes there so let's see here almost there <clears throat> right now these planets uh, you can't really do anything with them um, hopefully eventually Know, maybe you'll be able to land on them or be able to do you know um, like in orbit uh, missions or something I don't know so I don't know what they have planned for those but those are all over the place so I'm assuming they're gonna use them eventually all right so I'm gonna slow down here as we get into this guy and then teleport so it's gonna do a teleportation animation uh, you can skip again by hitting spacebar but I'm gonna let it run just so you guys can see what it looks like um, but the game's really pretty I mean it, it for being for being in early access, it is actually a really pretty looking game. Um, there we go. And then there's another loading screen, and then I'll be teleported out. So the cutscenes are a little annoying, but Spacebar is your friend when you're actually playing the game to play the game. So we're jumping out here. Do, do, do. Okay, perfect. So now we are in this area. Let's, uh, let's, Let's zoom around here and see. So this shield uh, makes me in immune <clears throat> when you first teleport in for a couple seconds. So um, it kind of gives you a chance to get up to speed and, and take off because sometimes people will, if they're playing the pirate role, they can uh, they can sit by a teleporter, especially popular ones, and wait for people to kind of beam in and engage them immediately and not give them a chance to escape. So that uh, that little net you saw over the outside of me uh, gives me a little bit of a, a cooldown period 
in which I am um, not vulnerable to attack. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to float around here and see if we can find some pirates because there's got to be some pirates out here somewhere. Um, you'll see them, they'll pop up as red. Uh, they'll have a red circle on them and then you'll see they'll actually kind of swirl around and come after me. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll float around here for a little bit. But the game's pretty neat. It's uh, there's a lot of really cool features. Uh, player info. Um, this is this is my these are my kind of my little uh, tells you about who who my player is. Um, let's see what else we've got. There's cargo uh, skills. You can add skill points. You gain skill points with levels. Um, so you know deployer control, laser gunnery. I mean, there's just so many different um, different things that you could put. So really, you can kind of tailor you know who you are as a, as, a, as a player. Um, there's just so many different things that you can become. Um, what's that? No, no pirates. Nothing yet. Let's see. Wallet tells you how much money I've got. That's not a lot of money. It looks like a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money. Um, I've been buying a lot of different things, trying to get my my guy there. In mission journal. Uh, if you if you're doing quests, they will show up in your mission journal here. Um, but I don't have any missions that I'm on. There's there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of uh, quests in the game yet. So, um, well, let's fly over by this planet and see. I'm not running into any pirates yet. We might have to go into a red zone to get some pirates. So let's uh, let's plot a course again real quick. Do do do. Just so I can make it easier. There we go. All right, let's swing back around over here. Um, leaderboards, they do have leaderboards right now. Um, they're, it's funny, they think they're they're just uh, trading combat. No, they're I kind of they're kind of broken right now. They've they were just like Excel spreadsheets that were really broken uh, for a while, but it looks like they might try to be revamping that system. Um, yeah, it's starting to look a little bit better, but it's just not. There's no there's no data, you know. So yeah, test two and ASDF. So yeah, they're. Uh, they're, they seem to be working on those right now. So let's go jump into this teleporter and get into, this is gonna be a red zone, so if I encounter something out here, this is gonna be much more difficult. So hopefully, I'll be able to show you guys some some combat, some air combat skills here. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be rough. This is the one, so I'm gonna skip this animation now because you've already seen it. But um, let's get into, let's get into some combat. Yeah, okay, so I think we've already got, I think these are pirates right out here. These these two ships that you can see kind of floating up up to the top left up there, top right of the screen. But let's see, let's see what we get. Yep, those are pirates, all right. So let's, uh, so he's gonna come after me. See how he, see how he turned like that? Now you can actually maneuver away from them. Um, you can try and fight, you know, kind of kind of get away from them and stuff like that, but let's, uh. Let's slow down a little bit and let him catch up to me. He's gonna circle around and he's gonna come back in view. See how he's, he left my view, my view circle there. I'm gonna run right into him. All right, so we made contact, so now we engage. <clears throat> so here we go. You were about to see some, uh, some space combat. So they're behind me to start, so I'm gonna swirl around. Oh yeah, they're already on me, let's see, so. Having, uh, switches through targets, so we're going to go this guy here first. You can see his health bar actually on him and up in the top of there because he is my target, my sighted target right now. There are a lot of them, but I've got good shield systems, so hopefully I'll be able to see them. Oh, they're already through the hole. They can be hard from the top. But my ship's really slow. I mean, it's a mining ship, but I'm not, I'm not designed for combat necessarily. Wow. Yeah, see, I'm in a I'm in a red zone, so these these pirates are pretty serious. But that was it. Uh, we've been defeated. Rescue and recovery drones from the Swarong Swarog station. <laughs> Sorry, are en route to your location. So basically, they just uh, I just respawned at the nearest at the nearest uh, station here. But uh, yeah, that was that was it. That was pretty terrible. Um, I, I don't die to pirates very often, but there was a lot of pirates and I took a lot of damage uh, straight on. So um, so that's that. But here's some cool, here's another cool thing. Um, so all the stations look, uh, they're all handmade. They're all very, very different. Um, so this one's kind of a like an industrial factory looking thing and you can fly around these, all these is pretty cool. 
uh, L4, it says on there. What's, what are these things? These are like TV screens. There's one station that I've been to that's just got these huge banners outside, which are pretty neat. Um, yeah, I don't know what those are, but they're kind of cool looking. But I'll, uh, I'll fly you around here. Let's see. Oh, they see this planet down below it is just, looks like it's just a volcanic planet. Um, so they're, you know, probably manufacturing something here. Um, it's just kind of neat. So, but yeah, this is this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. I mean, the graphics are really neat. The the buildings are neat. The uh, the asteroids are really 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 pretty looking up close. So we'll, uh, let's fly over to this big one over here, and I'll kind of show you the detail up close. They've done really good with the rendering. So the rendering is pretty neat. Um, but man, I just I epically failed. Yeah, see, there's space trash everywhere. Um, but yeah, and then you get close to these asteroids, and they just look. You know, the graphics are pretty nice. They're they're pretty smooth and. Um, let's get some, let's check out some of the space trash here. They've just got really cool looking space junk floating around out here, and there's the edge of the map, so, um, that, that grid that's coming into view there. If I just shoot through this grid, I don't have to teleport, it'll just, it'll just spit me out right into the map, so, um, it's like an auto-teleport. So, technically, if you're in combat, like if I was in combat with those pirates and I needed to bail out, which I probably should have against that, that big pirate system, uh, big, that big group of pirates, I should have just bailed out, but if I can just make it to the edge of the map, it'll auto-teleport me out of the instance, so. Um, but yeah, but that's that's pretty much the game in a nutshell uh, so far. Uh, there, I mean, there's a lot of more, you know, there's a lot of other things that I could show you, but um, I didn't want to spend too much time on it. Um, so there's a quest, Pirate Killer. Um, that's cool, they changed this. It's a new graphic that says Mission. That's pretty neat. Um, Oh, these little pirates. Alright, I can take these guys. See, this, this is a different ship. Um, this is a much smaller uh, crew of pirates, so... Um, come on, you. Here we go. Let's see if we can encounter this guy, because I want to I wanna fight this guy. Yeah, I think I can beat these guys, so... Let's see. Well, hopefully I can, but... We'll find out. I can only take on small pirates at the, at the moment. Alright, let's just... Let's do... Let's flip up here real quick, and I'm just going to come right back on him. So what I found is uh, to turn really quickly, if you just decrease your speed almost down to zero, all the way down to zero, uh, you can flip because you're just basically there's no there's no forward thrust. So you can actually turn around much quicker, and then I just jam on it and uh, you can catch up to these guys pretty quick. But this guy's quick. But yeah, if you've if you've done flight simulators or anything like that, you're gonna you're gonna dig this game. It's, it's pretty cool. Destroy this guy right now. See, I'm cutting through. I've got through his shields, and oh, there he goes. And then I'll show you how to loot after. Uh, if I make it through the rest of these guys. But there's not very many of them, so I got to get shields. Alright, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. But it's pretty high impact. I mean, it's, it's pretty intense. Right now, I only have a laser gun, so I don't have really good weapons, but there's chain guns, uh, which are machine gun kind of base, so you're going to have to lead off on them. Um, and if you hold down spacebar, it actually, uh, you know, just kidding. Spacebar used to, I thought, increase you to maximum speed. Um, there's like an extra speed boost that actually uses, oh, I don't have any energy, that's why it's not working. Uh, my energy, my, uh, my, my laser cannons use, you see how they're, I'm down at low energy, so now it's kind of just shooting as it recharges, which is not good. So we need to kind of let it take a little break and kind of dodge these guys for a little bit. While this recharges. I have a faster. I, I put a mod on here that, that recharges my shields quicker, but it doesn't seem to be helping at this point too much because I've been maneuvering a little too much. Oof. But my shields, you can see that my shields are holding a lot better. And um, my, my shields recharge a lot quicker, so my hulls are able to fight these guys pretty well. There's that guy coming around over there. Come on. These guys are just zooming off. Here they come. I'm gonna finish this guy off. Boom, he's gone. Alright. I think there's one more. That's that guy right there. I've done a little work on him. I think that's the last one. But you'll see on the map, the, the mini map in the top right corner, there's these little green things. Um, those are where the actual. Uh, where I killed them. And uh, I'll, I'll show you. We can go back and loot their bodies. I don't even think we actually have to be uh, near them. We just have to be in the system. That was the last one. I'll tab through, but yeah, I'm not tabbing anybody, so that's pretty much it. Um, so if you press E, is it E? No, I guess I was wrong. Let's, uh, let's go find one of these piles of trash, and I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, there it 
is right there. Kind of cruise up on it here. So this is what they drop. They drop this uh, drop these uh, these piles of stuff here uh, if you press R I'm sorry R is what pulls up the uh, the looting so uh, construction materials I'm gonna take all that and if I press R again it goes to the next one and I press R again and it goes to the third one um, and I just loot all their bodies and that was it that's the that's what it looks like to encounter uh, some pirates so um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, this is my ship um, so hopefully yeah so that you can see all like the space space dust and everything around here it's pretty neat do a little roll for you but anyway so that was pretty much it so hopefully uh you enjoyed the video um hopefully you'll take a look at the game um it's it's growing everything's getting a lot better they're uh, they're upgrading it it looks like there's more players playing i've been watching the chat a little bit so it seems like people are starting to pick it up so hopefully as it gets better um the, the community will grow and uh, i'll be able to do more videos on it but Hopefully you enjoyed the, the combat suikens. At least I got to win. At least you got to see me kill some pirates. So um, you can see that I'm not completely terrible at playing this game. But anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And thanks again for watching uh, JDub uh, with, with uh, Global Gamers. And uh, we'll see you next time.